Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. Today we're making the Queen's Apple Tart from Food Wars. Now this tart is just a normal pastry case, but then inside we've got these thin apple slices that have been poached in a sweet apple and rose syrup and then rolled into a spiral to make the shape of a rose. For the tart dough, I added 88 grams of all-purpose flour, 38 grams of ice and sugar, and 13 grams of ground almond flour into a large bowl and whisked it together. After that, I added in 45 grams of cold cubed unsalted butter and then rubbed it in with my fingers until it resembled the texture of sand. To turn this into a dough, I added 20 grams of cold water in two 10 gram batches and gave it a mix. After everything started to come together, I went in with my hands and just pressed it into one solid dough ball. I wrapped this dough ball in cling film and then rolled out into a square because when we put it in the fridge, this will help it cool as fast as possible. So after I've rolled it into that square, I just popped it in the fridge and got on with the rest of the recipe. So the way they make the apples in the anime is they first peel them, chop them, and then stew the apple peel in water to make a kind of apple syrup. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to peel these apples and then slice them as thin as possible. Ideally, a mandolin would be good for this, but if you don't have one, a knife works just fine. But to make sure the apples don't brown, after I'd cut them, I'd pop them straight into this bowl of cold water while I was cutting the rest. Into this small pan, I've added two cups of water along with all of our apple peels. And after simming for about 10 minutes, you can see the peels have lost their color and all that flavor has gone into the water. I think it looks a bit opaque here because the starches from the apple have gone into the water, but it tastes okay. If anything, it's a tiny bit bitter. So we're gonna correct that later on. But here we've got the rose water. So in the anime, they also make a rose syrup uh, with fresh roses, but I don't have that. So I just got this rose water from the shop. So I'm gonna add half a teaspoon into the water, give it a little taste, but again, it's still too bitter. So I added in half a teaspoon of caster sugar and then my rose colored food dye, just to give it that nice pink color. And I poured everything back into the pan. I only used about half of the apples because there wasn't enough liquid for all of them. So just half the apples, all of the liquid, and then I stewed that for about 10 or 15 minutes. And you can see we've got nice pink apples. And the rest of that syrup we're going to cook down later on to glaze the tarts with. So once the dough had chilled, I put it onto a floured work surface and then began rolling it out. You first going to want to press it like this to prevent it from cracking, but then you can properly roll it out. And I went for a pretty thin sheet, I'd say about four millimeters in thickness. And I'm cutting out these circles, which are 88 millimeters in diameter. This fits my tray perfectly, but just um, use your judgment and pick a size that works for the tart tray you've got but it is important that you press them into the mold to ensure that you get the shape that you want. Now I'm not gonna use any baking beans, or you could do, but instead I'm just gonna prick the bottom with the fork just to let all the air out to stop them puffing up. So once that was done, I baked the cases at 180 degrees, about 10 minutes, and then proceeded to boil down our apple and rose syrup until it became nice and thick. So here we have our cases, they're not perfect. Um, I'm not very good at this kind of pastry, but they do the job and I'm just showing here the difference in the texture between the apples. So the first one was just a raw apple and then the second one is the one we've stewed in the apple and rose water. You can see it's a lot more flexible. Now to assemble the tarts, it took me a while to get this right but I think I kind of got the technique down the end. So you're just going to want to go around in a circle um, doing one apple piece at a time and kind of overlapping them so you get this nice spiral effect all the way up to the inside. I used bigger pieces at the outside and then used progressively smaller pieces as I got closer to the center. And then for the final touch, I took two pieces of apple, laid them down and rolled them into a tight spiral and placed that in the center. And here we have the final tart. So I did actually get better after time and I filled that center hole in on the other ones with one of the thinnest pieces of apple that I'd rolled into the tightest spiral. Um, you kind of get the hang of it after a while. After I'd finished all of the tarts, it was now time to glaze them. So you can see I've got that thickened apple and rose syrup on the right there. It's important to note that as I was boiling it down, I added in an extra teaspoon of sugar just to make sure it was nice and sugary so we get a thick sticky syrup at the end. But I was really happy with the color in the end. I thought it might concentrate too much, but it's this nice vibrant pink color, which kind of complements the apples and the pastry case. So I'm just brushing this on nice and gently, making sure to get every little piece of apple. And then we've got the cinematic shots from outside in the garden. There's another sunny day. So we've got some nice shots there. And though I won't be making this recipe uh, regularly, it was a nice one to do just as a one-off. The thin pastry case I think is essential 
Uh, it's very delicate apples on the inside. You don't want a thick pastry case on the outside. So trying to get that around the four millimeter mark is uh, quite important, I think. But overall, I think I did a good job of replicating the Queen's apple tart from Food Wars. But let me know what you all thought in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.